everyone. Welcome to the first stream. Back after my break. Hopefully everything is set up a-okay. Um, so just bear with me a second guys. As always I'm just setting up the tweets. So just gonna make sure that that's tweeted out. And then I have quite a few things to talk about at the start of this stream, guys. So just bear with me while I set up. Thank you to everybody tuning in and not forgetting about me. <laughs> I know it's been like a week or slightly over a week since I last streamed. Maybe not as long as that, actually. I don't know. But I'm back. I needed a break and it was really refreshing. It is definitely wise as a streamer and content creator to make time for yourself and make sure you have a rest because things can definitely pile on top of you and it can get pretty darn stressful so I was told I should have a break and that's what I did <laughs> which was really nice um, which I'll talk a little bit about that on this stream so that tweet is set up now um, let me just make sure that Nightbot has joined I'm just tying it to join now and then we're going to have a little bit of a chill chat at the start of the stream, guys, at the title screen. I just want to explain to everybody who has been watching this series as pre-record why I'm doing this particular episode as a live stream episode. Because there is a reason behind the change, which I will explain in a moment. So let me just see if Nightbot is here. And I plan on just having a really nice chill stream today guys for my first stream back i thought little dragons cafe is so perfect it's not a hectic game it's really really relaxing super chill and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well just as much as i am covering it on the channel it's such a lovely gem of a game just really really chill and uh re really nice graphics and you get to raise a baby dragon so you know you know what I'm like. <laughs> Best Konoichi, I just want to say that I got this game because of you. Awesome, that's so cool, thank you. I love it when people tell me that. It makes me feel like what I do is actually worthwhile. <laughs> so thank you so much. Right, okay, so Nightbot is in the chat. Um, so I think we are good to go, guys. Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to another episode of Little Dragons Cafe. This time this is live streamed so for those of you who were watching the pre-record videos on YouTube you will notice my live stream graphics on the screen. It's nothing to worry about. I'm still going to read out all of the text bubbles from the characters anyway so if it is blocking anything you're still going to get to hear what the characters are saying. Um, the reason this is streamed is because Quite a few of you in the comments section of this series said that you like the length of the pre-record videos that I have been doing, which are about 45 minutes to an hour long-ish. So I thought, if you guys like those long videos, why not do a live stream where it's like one, one and a half hours to two hours or more, something like that. It depends because I am streaming later today, so I'll have to see how I feel. And there's a lot of reading out on this game and I don't want to totally destroy my throat for the second stream today. I'm also coming down with a little bit of something, so I'm losing my voice anyway. So I'm probably going to take a lot of drinks, guys. Um, so yeah, I've decided to stream it, plus I'm not going to have time to, to do any pre-record of this game tomorrow. So if it's a live stream of like an hour and a half, basically that's like two and a half episodes all in one video. So you're actually getting more content basically. Um, so that's why I decided to stream it rather than do pre-record as well. So hopefully you guys like this and if you do support it, don't forget to comment and like the video as well guys. As you can see, I have my new ears. These are new, these are red and fluffy. I have a few more, I'll just show you guys now. Um, so I've got some light purple ones here. Um, I've also got some black ones. They are all stuck at the moment. <laughs> so I've got some black ones there. Um, I've also got these ones which are pink and black. And I've also just ordered uh, a couple more as well which are like glittery. Um, 
And there's a couple of other ones I do like, but I don't want to go too overboard at the moment. Um, because I want to see if you guys like these ears. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with the cat theme of the channel. You guys know that I love cats, and obviously I rebranded to represent my love of cats. Amber likes the ears. Thank you so much, Amber. Um, like, I don't know, because... Sometimes some people are just like, aren't you a little bit old to wear cat ears? And it's kind of like, well, it's part of my branding and it's a channel gimmick, you know? Um, I love cats and I just think that it's just something super, super fun and represents me and my love of cats. So why not? You know, at the end of the day, you shouldn't let anybody tell you not to do something if you enjoy it and you like it, so I hope you guys like it too. Uh, like I said, I've got a couple of glittery ones on the way. Um, those are the only fluffy ones I have at the moment, although I do quite like a yellow fluffy pair as well, but they are from Japan and they actually aren't on a headband, they just clip on, and usually clip on stuff like that doesn't stay in my hair. So I could actually just buy them and then glue them onto a headband myself, so I am considering that, but I don't know. I also might paint these ears a little bit because I don't know if you can see, but the, the white bit of the material that the ears are attached to, you can actually see it, and my OCD is making that really, really bother me. So I might actually paint the white material black so that it blends in more with the ears. Um, so I'd have to do that on all three of these furry ear cat ear headbands um so yeah that's something i might do anyway but thank you so much uh, i just want to welcome everybody in the chat right now so thank you so much arrow wolf celebi lover jinxie who is modding fa1x who is modding um we've also got pain we've got dan dunker we have best knoichi amber dragon souls uh, Nikki Tex, I've never caught a live stream. Hello, GGK. I like the ears. Thank you so much and welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy this. This is my first stream back after my break. Thank you so much, uh, Famaroff as well, for swinging in. I love the cat ears. I own them myself. Exactly. Like, this is the way I feel. If you like them, you shouldn't let anybody tell you not to wear them, or at least in my opinion anyway. Hello, Leon as well. Welcome to the stream. So, I'm just going to load into the game now, um, and then... As we're playing through this game, obviously I'll share with you guys a little bit about my break, what I did on my break, and, and stuff like that. And I think it's just going to be a nice, super fun, chill stream today, guys. So let's load in. And obviously, I'm going to be streaming again later today, which is going to be Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. And um, I have started the game already, so I'm going to be skipping past the story. I'm not playing that game for story whatsoever. And I've just set up a lot of my starting prowlers, basically. So we'll be checking those out together a little bit later on. So where am I up to? I've forgotten all the buttons now. <laughs> right, story. Here we go. See how the cafe is doing tomorrow. Okay. Um, so I think... From what I remember, I have to increase this little bar at the bottom, which is the cafe reputation bar. And when it reaches that exclamation mark, that will be when the next part of the storyline triggers, essentially. We also have other bits of storyline that trigger with characters as well. So it's just a case of going through the day and just getting free bits of story. Also, I very much feel like I've been commenting on this on the previous episodes that my dragon needs to get bigger because we can't get past those boulders and also there's a bridge it won't let us progress past, past even though it's told me that um, I can explore further. I still can't, can't actually go across that bridge. So I just think that maybe my dragon needs to be bigger so that he can maybe break those boulders. But I don't know or something like that anyway. So hopefully Chris gets bigger on this episode. There he is. Hello Chris. <laughs> Right, there we go. Let's give him a pet. I love the fact that he wags his little tail when he's happy as well. When you're petting him, it's so adorable. <laughs> Leon, I don't have a switch for now. Money problems with the family. I have to wait too long. Oh, no worries. At the end of the day, you can enjoy this series on the channel. Oh, Kylie, I was just thinking to myself a bit. Um, Kylie, do you think I'm a warrior? Well, I don't think he's a real warrior, is he? He's... 
I think he's a bit of a, a, I don't know, a bit of a liar, a bit of a, an exaggerator. I, you know, I don't think anything he said about saving people has been genuine. I don't think it's legit happened. So, sorry if I'm going to be truthful. I don't think you're a warrior poncho, but you're just a kid. And, you know, he has time to prove himself, I think. You're a fine warrior. Well, maybe not yet. I... See, I feel like true friendship is telling the truth. And saying not yet isn't dead harsh, but he needs to realise that he isn't a warrior right now. He's a bit young, you know? He's got time. He needs to still be a child. He needs to grow up and just, you know, become an adult. So I'm going to go maybe not yet. You too, Kylie? A warrior is admired by all. Everyone needs a warrior. Everyone needs me. Yeah, but they don't need you if you're not a real warrior, though. You might not believe me, but I once saved a little girl from a wild dog. See, again with the porky pies, though, Poncho. I don't believe you. Seeing is believing. Maybe, maybe he will prove me wrong. I don't know. Army Keon, hey Kylie, just finished watching episode 5. I think the area that's open is past the stairs with the rocks. It's more like the two flying birds that you have to jump to catch. Um, you can't jump up on that ledge though. I've tried. I I'll give it a go though. Thank you for that advice. We'll, we'll check it out in a little bit and see if that's possible. Maybe we can focus on doing that during this day, the first day of the stream. Then again, I guess I was just lucky because Thunder scared the dog away. I'm I'm just the worst warrior ever. I feel bad now. I feel like I've been a bit too harsh with him, but... I hope that my words haven't... I don't know, forced him to maybe do something silly. Maybe put himself at risk. I hope not. I don't want to see him risk himself to prove that he's a warrior, you know? I don't want to see that. I don't want that to be something I've caused, essentially. Right, so my dragon's health is uh, full at the moment. So let me just speak to everybody and see if there's anything new. I'm just gonna skip past this text because when you're in the cafe, um, they just say the same things. There we go. Oh, I've collected four recipe fragments, awesome. Poncho doesn't seem happy. I wonder what's wrong. I will make him something delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> and then there's Ipan there. Ipan is totally waifu, by the way. Poncho saved a little girl? Wow, he's more of a warrior than it seems. So if it's new text, I'll read it out, obviously, but if I recognise it as text we've already seen, I won't read it out. Um, so let's go over to Poop Wizard. <laughs> Leon, will you live stream Temtem back at Alpha in November? I I have actually backed that, so I probably will live stream it, yes. I'll add it to the menu, get cooking. Okay, so we've got something new to cook from the menu, guys. Yeah, exactly. Dan says telling him he's a hero could in fact make him overconfident. That is true. Okay, so I didn't even pay attention to what I got, so... <laughs> uh, did anyone notice what it was that I got? I can't make that. Fruit jelly. Oh, it was fruit jelly. There we go. Okay, right. This is the moment I'm gonna fail. <laughs> Tell me! Hey Kylie, I love you and your channel, Tearaway videos, oh thank you so much. Uh, sorry you got timed out by Nightbot, Nightbot doesn't like too many of the uh, little emotes, so make sure you don't spam them too much. Um, but thank you so much for the love, sorry about that. <laughs> I can't reverse it as well, so it sucks. Um, so just bear that in mind in future, not too many emotes in the chat please. <laughs> Slightly sweet fruit jelly. Okay, I may as well add it actually. Running out. Oh. Oh. Trophy. Colourful menu. Silver trophy as well, guys. Ka-ching. 
Okay. Right, now let's go and do... Uh, follow that advice from a little bit earlier about heading towards the rocky area and seeing if we can jump up. David says if I had the game, I would name my dragon Spyro. That's awesome. <laughs> I was so close, honestly. I was so close myself to naming my dragon Spyro. But it's kind of a tradition of mine um, to actually name creatures or like in Pokemon games, any kind of monster training games, stuff like that. It's kind of a tradition for me to uh, call one of my little monster companions Chris, which is my boyfriend's name. So that's why I went with Chris in this. Uh, Leon, um, yeah, I've got quite a few cat ears. I don't know if you missed the start of the stream. If you did, you can watch it back on the VOD later, or in fact, you can actually rewind on the stream itself just to catch it. But I have um, already got some fluffy purple ears, fluffy black ears, some black and pink ears and I've ordered some glittery ears as well. I'm interested in some fluffy yellow ears but um, they are slightly different, they're not on a headband. So I'm kind of a bit dubious and wary because clip-on ears don't really stay in my hair that well which is surprising considering how thick my hair is. Um, right, circle is jump. Sorry guys, I forgot a little bit of the controls there so <laughs> I was trying to remember what I needed to do. Right, so I definitely can't jump up there. There we go. Oh my gosh, really? Really? Oh my god, it was as simple as that. That's all I needed to do was jump up that ledge. I feel so derpy right now. You guys know how derpy I can be, okay? <laughs> Yaki bird. There are wild birds called yaki birds found deep in the grass fields. Yaki birds flee upon noticing you. If the player tackles the yaki bird, it will drop meat and run away. How do I tackle a yaki bird? Oh! Oh my god, I guess I have to- Oh! Oh my gosh! Yaki- Yaki breast? Well. Well now. I was not expecting that on a childlike game. <laughs> hey Fabian, welcome to the stream. Welcome everybody to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh my gosh, did you get it? Yeah, give me that bird meat, please. <laughs> I want all the bird meat. Ah! Can I actually catch these birds or do I just get their meat? Is that is that my life now? Getting bird meat? I'm actually not bothering to return to the cafe today. I know that that's a bit risky with my reputation. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, see, my staff is, is slacking at the moment, but I, I really just want to explore this new area. So I'm not even going back. I just want to focus on getting through this new zone, to be honest. Can I gather this? No. And don't forget guys to drop a like on the stream. It really does show me you're having a good time, you like what you see, and that you support this stream as well. Which is always good. It gives me an idea if I should stream this game again on the channel. Right, so just to tackle these birds, you just basically jump on them, it seems. Baked flatbread. Is that it? Can I not go any higher? I don't think I can. Shade! Hey, Gadget Girl, just dropping by. I'm going to the Nintendo store today, New York. Hope you have fun. Thank you so much. I hope you have fun too. And hopefully the weather is good for you. It's actually been raining here in the UK recently, which is no bad thing because we had sun for so long and all the farmers were worried about their livestock and the grass and the crops and all that. So I'm actually hoping that it stays bad weather for a couple of weeks just so things can actually regrow, you know? Um, at the end of the day, we do need rain. <laughs> it's how photosynthesis works. <laughs> 
Walter Thomas, I love your videos. Thank you so much. Everybody's been so pleasant today. Thank you guys. Like this is this is great. Um, thank you for supporting my first stream back after my break. All right, come on, Chris. You need to get some meat from the hole. Well, that is lewd. <laughs> Fabio and I hope you get to 100k. Well, well, my friend, it's going to be a long time. I play a lot of niche things and I'm in the worst YouTube algorithm ever. Every time I go live and upload, I lose subs and I don't get featured or promoted. So it's very difficult for my channel to actually grow, but I appreciate the love. Thank you so much, Chris. Okay, I'm actually going to return to the cafe because at 6 o'clock is when more people start coming in again. Okay, so after this little uh, serving session, I'm going to go out and see if I can harvest anything from the uh, little crop field next to the cafe and also the fish preserve as well down by the water. Are the old dudes not coming tonight? I, I swear it's normally more people than this in the evening. Uh, I also actually need to feed Chris, so... There we go. Yay! Almost full stamina again. Sweet. See, you guys can't see the stamina bar, because that's where my face cam is. But I can tell you what it's at, at any given time. I think that... Oh, there we go. Here's the old dude. Right, you get back to work, please. I don't think I can interact with them while I've uh, just received an order, actually. Right, I'm gonna speak to Billy. Get back to work, Billy! Stop slacking off, please. So rude. And Sean is also my little helper as well, so... There we go! Okay, so we got some ingredients there, some more ingredients there. It's always good to talk to everybody to get these uh, extra bits of ingredients. I wonder if these old dudes smell of, like, soap. <laughs> from the older generation um like does, does anybody know if your grandparents use like talc talc powder when they come out of the bath or shower um my nan used to use it a lot like talc powder all the time and when we were little it was basically like pouring a whole just like a whole i don't know like container of talc on us to get us dry after having a bath or a, or a shower <laughs> And I still remember that smell to this day. Just talc powder smell. <laughs> Army Keon says, I'm so glad I could help you get to the new area. Me too, thank you so much for that advice. I can't believe that I missed that, but that's that's me all over. I, I am quite derpy, um, so... <laughs> It doesn't surprise me that I didn't realise that I could jump up on that ledge. I don't think we're going to get good reviews from today because we had that slacking off message earlier at lunchtime. Fabian says the dragon looks like a baby Legiacris. I can actually see that as well. Um, it's the colour. The blue is very similar. Leon says I don't have the switch already. I need the switch. <laughs> Yeah, the Switch is um, still quite expensive as well. Just one? 
Wow, that was stingy. Okay, so I think it's bedtime now. Actually, what I might do, um, ready for tomorrow, uh, oh, there we go, oh, wow, okay, happy, happy guys, I wasn't expecting that. Sweet, okay. I'm just gonna do a little bit of cooking, I think. Um, I'm gonna make some fried fish. Hello, I just joined the stream. I would like to know what you do in this game. So for a full explanation, I recommend watching the series from part one, which is on the channel. This is part six. Um, but for a brief summary, you raise a dragon from a baby to an adult. It helps to bring your mum back, who is actually in a, kind of like a coma. You need to manage your cafe, cook and make dishes, as you just saw with the mini game. You need to collect materials from the fields for new ingredients, for new dishes. You need to keep everybody happy inside your cafe, customers and staff members alike. You meet lots of new characters who are quirky and unique. So yeah, it's got all sorts really. It's got crafting, it's got management, it's got uh, monster raising in the form of raising your dragon. So there's a lot to do in the game and it's just a really fun, chill, nice experience. Okay, so we've got some manure here. Oh, what a cute little dragon. Hurry up and get big already. You've got some saving to do. <laughs> okay, so Pancho's bar is slowly filling up there. Okay, so it just keeps going on to see how the cafe is doing tomorrow. So maybe we're going to get a little cutscene triggering now. Pain! Gadget Kill Kylie, I was fighting X Behemoth and he doesn't call Meteor, so you have to use the jump to dodge his ecliptic meteor. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm never fighting him. <laughs> hey, Billy, you know, don't you? Huh, no what? The legendary warrior, the great consumer Tai Shi, eats a powerful Zuchi every day. A Tai Shou, even. I said that completely wrong. <laughs> nope, never heard that before. Grrr. What? How can you claim to live in the same village as him and not know that? Not interested. Hey Kylie, do you think I could become a true warrior if I ate one too? Kitty talk. <laughs> The answer to becoming a true warrior is to eat a special kind of meat. <laughs> Still, I can certainly empathise with Poncho. Kylie, it would be nice if we could make a powerful Zuchi dish for him. Okay, so... Powerful Zuchi dish. Do I have a Zuchi dish? I don't think I do. Nope. Guessing I just have to go and find um, the recipe. Eating the same dish won't make you like them. I hope mum gets to wake up to the sound of a thriving cafe. That would be so cool. I'm going to work really hard today. 
Okay, I thought of a marvellous dish. I'll give you the recipe so you can try it. Oh, is this it? We'll check in a second. What? They were moved by my service? Oh, I feel like I'm in heaven. Okay, so let's check out this dish. I don't think it is, to be honest. Could be wrong though. No, nope, I don't even have the ingredients. Never mind. <laughs> Walter Thomas, kindly watch your favourite game that you have played on your channel. Any of the Monster Hunter games and also uh, Fantasy Life on the Nintendo 3DS is definitely one of my all-time favourites. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the beach in a second and check the fish preserve again. Nudoc says I'm watching all of the episodes, even the preview one, and I'm still not sure if I want to buy it. I mean, I have an honest opinion right now. I don't think, I think they're overcharging uh, for this game, in all honesty. Um, that's my genuine opinion on the price point. I think it's pricey for what it is. I don't think it should be the price that it is. I think it should be like $20 less, basically. Um, I think it's a little bit too expensive, personally. After playing it for a while, it's nice and everything, it has really cool characters and stuff, but there's not, there's not an immense amount of depth, is what I would say. So I think it's a little bit pricey for what it is, to be honest. Come on, Chris. I mean, I'm still having a great time, don't get me wrong. Oh my god, he's missions away. Jesus. It's gonna take him like 20 minutes in game time to get to me. <laughs> Walter Thomas, have you played any games by Babesta? Yes. Um, I have. I'm not a massive fan. I think they can be pretty lazy on buggy games. And uh, a lot of people just go, oh well it's Bethesda, you should expect that. It's not good enough. A company so large should have better testing and just better quality control. So I have a lot of bad things to say about Bethesda, in all honesty. Um, <laughs> I like their games, yeah, but I don't know, I just think that they need to have better quality control. So I'm helping out in here so that hopefully we can have another good day. Okay, that's fine. Right, you go take that. I'm going to take this dish when it's ready. My god, he's taking ages to cook this. Oh dear, don't be jealous of my beauty. I am but a lowly, beautiful, dressed, incredibly talented chef. Nothing more. <laughs> wow. He's kind of up himself a lot of the time, isn't he? Okay, let's see if they've got any, like... Okay, so we got some bacon there. Don't be in my way, Ipan! I'm cleaning the dishes! <laughs> Dan says he's full of himself always. <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm gonna feed Chris now, because uh, his stamina is going a bit lower. Maybe we should change Chris to green. Let's give him a new colour. 
I don't know how quickly he changes colour. So I'm gonna start feeding him green food and get him to change to green. We'll see how long that takes. Right, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna head back this way and I'm gonna jump back up on those ledges again and get some more of that new type of meat, I think. Try and catch those birds again. Juan Old, is this game good? I like it. I think it's a nice game. I think it should be cheaper, but I do enjoy it, nonetheless. I'm looking forward to when Chris grows a bit bigger because he's still in his initial baby stage at the moment. Hello? Finally! It took me a week to find a powerful Zuchidon. I want to eat pudding, my favourite food. If you give me some pudding, I'll teach you how to prepare a powerful Zuchi... Zuchidon! The right way. I <laughs> got there in the end, guys. Um, okay, um... Right, I'm gonna have to go back and make a pudding and come back to this guy, I think. So I'm not gonna mess around catching those birds. I'm just gonna go return, cook the pudding and come back here, I think. So he didn't specify what pudding, did he? He just said any pudding. Um, so a pancake, I guess? Or actually maybe Let's just scroll through. Fruit jelly. I think we should make that one. That's definitely a pudding. You better like it. <laughs> I really want to try it myself, to be honest. It looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so let's go and see if this fruit pudding will suffice. Troy says, I heard it takes a while to get your dragon to grow to the next stage. I don't know if the dragon's growth is locked to story progression or if it's based off actually how much you feed it. Because I'm not feeding, sometimes I haven't even fed Chris every single day um, because his stamina bar doesn't deplete that quickly maybe it will deplete more when he's bigger and we're using him more like flying and stuff like that so I don't know like I'm not feeding him every day maybe I should make it a habit to make sure that I am feeding him daily maybe that will make him grow quicker I don't know or the growth is tied to story progression oh my gosh look at that I never noticed that before <laughs> Okay, so how do I actually dispose gift to dragon? Hmm. How do I, what? I would have thought that I would go in here and it would go like give to whatever his name is. Hunter. If you give me some pudding, I'll teach you how to prepare a powerful Zuti jot. Zuchadon! My god, why am I struggling so much? Dyslexia, go away. <laughs> Walter, do you know of any PS4 games that I might like? Well, I have no idea what your preference is, my friends. I suggest just browsing my YouTube channel. Use the search feature, preview my playlists, and uh, check it out. Drake says you made jelly, not pudding. Yeah, but jelly is a pudding. Does it actually have to say pudding in its name for it to count? Jelly's a pudding. Cake's a pudding. It should have worked. That's awfully specific. He may as well have just named what he wanted in that case. Is that everything? Z 
he, he's called batter pudding. What's he eating? Right, that's the one with the cherries on top. And he said this pudding is so nice. So what he had was... Not even on my list. <laughs> right, let's just... No, that one. There we go, that pudding. Okay. Should we put some fish in the, in the pudding, guys? <laughs> Should we make it a fishy pudding? Let's give it let's give it a bit of uh, a bit of zest with an orange, I think. I feel like I've been tricked. All this time I thought jelly was a pudding. I've been I feel like my life is a lie. Genuinely a lie. I was told jelly's a pudding. Ah. <laughs> Right, there we go. This is a pudding. It says pudding in the title. Let's not have any more tomfoolery game. Will the sky still be here at this late at night? I don't know, but we're gonna go look anyway. Nudok says, isn't jelly a sweet? Yeah, but a sweet is a pudding. You know? <laughs> There's going to be a massive debate in the live stream now. What is a pudding? The cake is a lie. <laughs> Leon agrees and says, oh god, there's going to be a debate about whether it's a pudding. Hey, at least that's a pleasant debate to have in a live stream. Of all the things that people could debate over, I'm happy that people can debate over pudding in my streams. <laughs> right, that's it guys. Vote in the comments section. Is jelly a pudding? Vote down below. Because I think it is. <laughs> Right, there we go. He wants that. Okay. Thank you so much. Here, take this in return. Extravagant meat dish. Well. I will cook your extravagant meat, my friend. And it will be delicious. Speaking of meat. We're going to get some more bird meat. There's only two birds out tonight. Right, okay, I'm gonna return to the cafe and cook this. Okay, Chris has gone to bed, but he's actually halfway down on his stamina bar, so I need to remember to feed him tomorrow. It's not in my list. Newest recipes. It's not there, guys. Am I being blind right now? No, I don't see it. Maybe I've got to sleep. Right, we'll go to sleep and we'll see if we can make it tomorrow. Hey, Picastro! Welcome to the stream. This is the first stream back after my uh, break, so you haven't missed any streams previously, Picastro. I was just, I was just having a break. <laughs> so, oh, we're so close! We're so close to the exclamation mark for the next bit of the story, guys! Yay! 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 Awesome! Oh God, it's getting really intense now in the live chat. We're talking about whether Flan is. It is a pudding now. <laughs> Much debate. See, this is what happens when you ask if jelly is a pudding. Things get really intense. <laughs> I don't know. I personally think jelly is a pudding. I've always had it as a pudding. I don't... Oh, I haven't gone to sleep yet. Um... And if, if anybody says jelly is not a pudding, my life has been a lie. 
Fabian says I think Flan is a pudding. <gasps> is he gonna grow? Oh, please tell me he's gonna grow. Please tell me this is a cutscene where he's gonna get bigger. Please, please, please. Chris, you have such a big appetite. It sure does eat a lot. Where the heck does it stow all that food it chows down on? Even if it's little, I guess a dragon is still a dragon. My, I suspect the exquisiteness, wow, dyslexia, thank you for letting me say that properly, of the food keeps our friendly Chris's appetite going. <laughs> He's getting bigger! Chris is evolving! <gasps> Yay! Oh my god! Oh guys! He's grown! My little baby has grown! Oh my gosh! Yay! Wow! Chris grew! He's getting all the dragon spikes and the horns now and his little wings! His little wings have gotten bigger! Oh! I'm so proud! I'm so proud! <laughs> Our dragon here looks much sharper now. Well, <laughs> that's because of the spikes, to be fair. I'm sure the Zuchadons won't stand a chance against Chris. Oh yes, we can fight them now! Because I don't have any weapons, so I was... I called it, I did say that Chris is the one that would have to fight them. At this rate, it'll become an adult before we even know it. Oh my god, yay! You want to make a powerful Zuchi dish for Poncho, right? Powerful Zuchi? That vicious creature? It'll be a pain just to catch one. But still. He has it all wrong. My old man isn't anything- Oh! I called it! I legit called it! I said, I wonder if it's his dad. Oh my god! I called it! Yeah! The legendary warrior Taisho, he's your father? Maybe this is why he's so lazy, is he felt like it was such a high expectation to live up to. He was just like, why even bother, you know? Um, my, my dad is so renowned and worshipped that I'm not even going to be able to live up to his name. <laughs> Poncho doesn't have a clue what a warrior is supposed to be. Well, a real warrior, anyway. Well, why don't you tell him? Huh? Why should I? Or show him? Show us what you can be, Billy! <laughs> show us what Billy is all about! Billy, come back! Well, but you're right, I guess I'll tell him. I'll tell him how uncool this warrior he looks up to really is. I don't think he's gonna believe Billy, like... I don't even think he's gonna believe that uh, Billy is that guy's son. Right, let's cook me some extravagant meat. Sounds like a fun time. Where is it? Oh, no, 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 I need to... Sorry, I can't, can I? Because I need to, um... Oh, Chris, 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 Chris. We want you to turn green next. Oh, he makes a slightly more adult dragon noise now. Let's leave. <laughs> Thank you so much to everybody tuning in. Welcome to Team GGK. My name is Kylie. Um, I'm a regular streamer. I also do pre-record. I actually started this series as pre-record, so if you want to go back and watch any of those, they are on my channel. Um, but I'm testing this out as a stream episode because people liked a nice, chill, lengthy pre-record so I thought why not stream it for like an hour or more to get a nice long episode. So here we are. <laughs> dragon action! So at the child stage the dragon will be able to push boulders, yes, destroy obstacles and attack Azuchodons. The dragon can also cut grass and find ingredient bearing fruits. The dragon needs stamina in order to perform dragon actions. The dragon can't perform dragon actions without stamina. So this is where cooking a lot of meals 
and having them in my bag so that I can replenish that stamina bar is going to come in very, very useful, guys. So, exploration range has increased. Awesome. All right, straight away we're going to go to the boulders area. Oh, hello. Mow grass. Mow will display when you're near grass that contains fruit in it. The dragon can mow with its tail, which will drop ingredient bearing fruits. The dragon may mow the grass on its own. Right, so it's these. Oh, I can't. I'm a bit disappointed with that pet animation, actually. I really wanted him to still wag his tail. Even though his tail is much longer and bigger, I still want it. Oh my god, he's got it in his mouth! Oh my freaking cuteness! <laughs> Pineapple Fox, Chris is gonna be too big to go in the kitchen soon. If I remember correctly, um, you can actually eventually open a window so that when your dragon is so big its head just comes through the window of the kitchen. So yes, that's gonna be super super hype! <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to fly on Chris. I can't wait to ride Chris. <laughs> Here we go. Dragon action. Zuchadons. Get close to a Zuchadon and press X while Hunt is displayed. To make the dragon tackle the target, Zuchadons that get tackled will drop meats. Oh my god! Oh my god, it stole one of my dishes as well. Like, that's quite risky. Oh look, he's lying down! I kind of feel if you kill the Zuchidon that stole your dish, you should get it back. Mind you, he ate it, so you get it, like... That is, like, that's too dangerous. How am I supposed to... Oh, this is not... This is hard. Like, to not get hit is hard. Because you stop and whistle. When you're pressing X to do the hunt. Again! I'm, I'm having every single dish stolen from me right now. I'm sad. <laughs> that is difficult. Really difficult. I don't understand how you don't get hit there. Sandria, blue dragon, oh, but he's... My, my little Chris has been blue since the beginning. You can actually choose the colour of your dragon right at the start. So you have three options. You have, uh, your mum asks you what you want for breakfast. Um, there's a meat dish, there's a fish dish, and there's a vegetable dish. So if you choose fish, you get blue, which is what I went for. If you choose meat, you get red. And if you choose vegetables, you get green. So you can actually choose the starting colour of your dragon when it first hatches. So I chose fish and got blue. So at the moment, I'm trying to feed Chris some um, some vegetable dishes to change him to green next, I think. That's what I want to do. See, how am I supposed to do this without- Whoa! Did that one hit me? I actually think it's best to- the staff is slacking. Right, maybe best to not have any meals on you. Come out with a full stamina bar for your dragon. And then return after and just like cook a load of dishes. Or maybe like two or three dishes. Too much slacking going on. I can get to work. I love salty food. Mum says that after I sweat a lot, I should eat salty stuff. I really wish my staff weren't so lazy. <laughs> Maybe you have to sneak. There isn't a sneak animation in this game. As far as I know, I haven't been told how to sneak. Right, what I'm gonna do... is 
I'm going to make I'm going to make some no oh, no I don't want fish actually I want can't do that can't do that either green salad that's what I want do that and also oh a mushroom I'm cooking like two dishes for Chris I think oh I missed I missed the end one darn it right continue cooking we're doing another one I'm just gonna have two on me I think Doobop, doobop. Um, bop, bop, ba, doobop. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. This entire stream is now copyright claimed by the Hansen brothers. <laughs> hey, uh, best man gamer, welcome to the stream. Right. Chris, eat this. Right, we're gonna go explore now. I have to return at six. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Right, okay, where are we at with this? Don't have any manure. I think maybe the fish preserve is ready. Come on, give me lots. No! I remembered wrong. <laughs> okay. Let's go. We can smash the boulders now. So let's go back over here and do just that, guys. New area to explore! Catbird! Good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon. It's 4 pm now. this is so relaxing it is isn't it it's just like a super chill game super super chill right here we go did they ever get tired and stop chasing you oh briefly oh my god That's what you do. Right, I've figured it out, guys. I've legit figured it out. So go around it in a circle, wait for it to get tired, and then press X. Here we go. Obstacles. You may find obstacles blocking your way. Those that can be destroyed by the dragon will display destroy near them. The amount of obstacles that can be destroyed increases as the dragon grows. Picastra, I'm actually going to be doing a second stream today, which is going to be Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Good boy! Oh! oh my god, you hug it! Oh my god! Can this game stop killing me with cuteness, please? I can't take it anymore. You've collected full recipe fragments. Extravagant meat dish! Yes! Awesome. Right, I think my staff can handle the serving at six, so... Can we destroy these boulders as well, or not? No, I don't think so. Right, we're gonna return to the cafe, help out with serving, and then... Actually, uh, let me just quickly go down here a second. Poop wizard! Where is he? Thank you. 
Powerful Zuchi Beats! Collect four recipe fragments and bring them to me! I got it to the menu! Get cooking! Again, his voice has changed. <laughs> Since the last time. Every time it changes. You never know what he's gonna sound like next. Sean, what are you doing? There's another tray there. Hey, Desert Flygon, welcome to the stream. I do feel like Chris is a little bit big for the cafe now, like... <laughs> He's bigger than an average sized dog, you know? He's taking up a little bit too much space. Okay, here we go. Don't have... Oh! I don't have the meat! Which is not something I normally say in my life. But I don't have the meat. So... <laughs> yes! I'm gonna have to go get more meat, guys, apparently. Everybody tuning in as well. Uh, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good time. And if you're wondering how to get this game, you can get it on the Nintendo Switch and also the PlayStation 4. It is out now in America, but sadly it's not out in the UK. It's coming out late September. But please do remember that your Nintendo Switch is region free along with your PlayStation 4. So you can in fact go and get the game now if you wish. And remember, you can actually get a collector's edition from PlayAsia. If you click through my link down below in the stream description, it'll take you to PlayAsia. And you can still get a limited edition of the game right now with a cute little dragon plushie. have to wait till the morning I think guys oh my god I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get that then And also, by the way, guys, if you do get it from PlayAsia, uh, you can actually use my coupon to get it a bit more cheaply, which is GGK Coop, all in capitals, one word. I wasn't expecting it to be great today because I was focusing on exploration rather than helping out the cafe. Down there? Oh, there we go. Thank you. I will have me some more meat, Ta, very much, Lee. Now. 
Where's Chris? Chris? Oh, hello. <laughs> we went the long way round. Can he destroy that or not? I'm not sure he can, you know. It's just making him um, lose his stamina but not actually doing it. Maybe he needs to be a bit bigger for that. Maybe he actually needs to burn that with fire, but he doesn't he doesn't have access to his fire yet because he's still a bit too young. I haven't stayed out all night before on this game. I'm tempted. <laughs> I want to see how far we can go tonight. So let's go this way catch these uh, birds again. Hey Jordan, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Leon says you're going to give Chris a headache if you keep doing that. Yeah, he can't, he can't do that one yet either. Oh dear! Okay, I think he just got a headache there. I think you were right. <laughs> he did not seem happy about that, did he? <laughs> hey, Eris, welcome to the stream. <laughs> You're gonna put Chris in a coma. <laughs> Let's do some fishing, we haven't done any in a while. I'm going to be patient this time. I'm going to press X when we get those exclamation marks. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry that you've now got a headache. I'll make it up to you by making you a lovely dish tomorrow morning. like you guys can't see it but his stamina bar was like less than half and because it came to a new day and um, it, it automatically refilled because that is a thing as a character we don't seem to have stamina ourselves unlike in something like stardew valley where you do have to monitor and maintain your stamina So we can't do anything there yet. I'm so glad on this episode that Chris grew though, because that's what I really, really wanted. Can we go across here now? Ah! No! This place is haunting me! Every time I want to go across this bridge and I still can't do it. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take a pleasant stroll back here. God damn it, these fences will be the death of me in this game. Where's Kylie? Well, she died of starvation because she couldn't get past a, a fence. <laughs> Wild cappuccino, Chris is so adorable. Those cute little wings, I know.
Right, so when it reaches lunchtime, I will go back to the cafe and help again. And I will actually need to uh, make some more dishes as well, I think. How many have... Nope. Yeah, I've run out, so I will need to make some more. Right, so I saw somebody in the chat before saying you can push the boulder with Chris now. So there's a boulder over here. Uh, sorry, I can't remember who it was that said it. Thank you so much for that information. So this boulder. There we go. Oh, if only I walked closer to it. This would have popped up. A push will be displayed nearby certain boulders on the field. Instruct the dragon to push a boulder by pressing X. You can jump over the boulder too. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! I didn't even see him! Jeez Louise! Right, I'm assuming we need to go up here because the massive one is up here somewhere and that'll be the meat that we need because it's the Zuchodon meat but it's a, it's a bigger bit of meat I think so I, I'm assuming up here is where we get it because I've seen that giant Zuchodon quite a few times and I kept saying like when are we got, gonna get to fight it and stuff so you know what I'm not gonna return to the cafe I want to carry on exploring they're just gonna have to make do without me today we're in a new area and I'm so so hyped Best Konoichi, is there a curfew in this game? No, actually there isn't. Um, this is my first time staying out all night and I wasn't forced to return to the cafe. So as long as you've got food to feed your dragon so that you can keep doing actions with the dragon, you're all good. You can stay out for days, it seems. Right, I know the staff are slacking and it does bother me, guys, but I don't want to return. I want to carry on, so... Nice one, Chris. Okay, that's a shortcut back down there. Welcome to the stream. We're having a lovely chill time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so... Can I get the mushrooms? No. Darn it! I really wanted to gather some shrooms! Jordan says, can this game be on the Nintendo Switch too? Yes. It's out on the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. Chill! You're my bird now! Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> You're coming back to my farm! Not even a farm, cafe. Well, I suppose we do have a mini farm area, don't we? This is creating a shortcut, there we go, nice. Oh, hello. I'm running out of stamina, guys. There's only a tiny bit left on the bar. Gonna have to be careful. Can, can Chris still fit inside these caves? I don't think he can. Oh, he can! Oh, nice! Awesome! He just kind of, like, slips his head through. 
That sounds wrong. <laughs> Child friendly stream! Child friendly stream. Really says, can your dragon do something apart from headbutting? Uh, yes, we can eventually fly on the dragon, but he needs to be bigger. So, as of right now, he's still too young to do that. Can I... Oh, hello! Oh my gosh! I know I'm running out of stamina, but I kind of want to explore before we take on the giant Zuchodon. Alright, we can't go up here, sadly. Oh my gosh, birdies! Oh my god! Oh, he's tired! I've ran- oh my god, I've completely depleted his stamina. Oh, I can just spam pet him to get his stamina back. <laughs> That's so cheating. Right, so I'm just getting his stamina bar to half again. There we go, it's about half now, guys. Oh my god! Oh my god! He is there, the giant one! We're not ready for you yet, sir. You watch, it'll just fall down on me and we'll die. <laughs> that scared me! <laughs> that genuinely scared me! I think Chris is hungry. Right, maybe we've explored enough. Maybe we should go home now. I feel bad. I feel bad because Chris is hungry. Right. People are probably gonna be dissatisfied with the service today because I didn't help whatsoever. I just thought of a recipe. What do you think? Let's try it out sometime. Muffin! Oh my god, the muffins! Why don't you go play in the forest with Chris? It'll make Chris happy. I found this earlier, but I don't cook, so you can have it, Kylie. Oh, nice! Two recipes! Sweet! Okay, do you have a recipe for me? I can't believe Chris is able to push a boulder that big. I was so surprised. But if I were to show my true strength, I would be able to move boulders as well. Hench! <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can make a muffin. Let's like let's make a lemon muffin. Lemon in my schlemon. <laughs> what you, what even that means? Why have we got inspirational music when cooking a lemon cake? <laughs> right, okay, we cook the muffin. Oh! Uh, yeah, we've cooked the muffin. Um, what else? Can't make that yet. Ew, we can make this though. Cooked gizzard? I'm missing everything! Oh god, this is bad. Whoa, that was awful. Only three chef's hats. I feel like we can do better than that, guys. I'm doing it again. 
Okay. Okay! I suck at this stuff. That was better. I missed the first two, but I didn't miss as many. There we go. I got four chef's hats. Hey, Shyly Lavender. Welcome to the stream. Remove this one. I really want to get four chef's hats at least on any dish. I'm changing my menu a little bit so. Right, so what have we got at the moment? We've got. We've got steak, uh, I think that's a meal, we've got a dessert, we've got salads, we've got eggs, we've got a pudding, we've got another salad, so we've got things for vegetarians there, we've got fish dishes, we've got a meat dish, we've got quite a few desserts actually, maybe, maybe I'll remove um, this egg dish and add something else, maybe the muffin. It says running out though, so maybe not. Mm. Right, hang on. Let's cook again. Let's see. Rice porridge. Here we go. Let's cook this. I'm trying to mix things up on this menu, guys. Yeah, four chef's hats. There we go. I feel like that's a pretty balanced menu now. Um, okay, so... Right, I want to make some green food. Because I want to change Chris green. Okay, so another green salad for Chris. <laughs> How can a dragon be sustained on salad? And now I hear the ice cream van. <laughs> you can't tempt me with ice cream van. I'm making salad. I'm staying healthy. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the sub, Austin. Welcome to Team GGK. Uh, okay, so... I think Chris has gone to bed. Right, I think I will go to sleep tonight. <laughs> and then um, tomorrow we are just going to go straight for the... Well, we're going to explore a little bit more around that area, but we're going to try and get the meat that we need. Happy!
<laughs> Wild cappuccino. Chris will love the salad. He will like it and he will lump it. Just saying. That's all you get in, Chris. That's all you get in. So I'm just going to go down to the fish preserve as well. Uh, I think I will probably have to use some manure just to get it so that it's harvest ready. Okay, now guys, let's go to the new area! Yay! Awesome. Because it was quite still um, a reasonable amount for us to explore, actually. I wonder if, um, I don't think the next stage, may maybe it will, maybe the next stage will be that we can fly on Chris. I'm kind I kind of hope that there's a stage where we can actually just ride him. Alright, that is definitely the trick. Definitely. Run around them until they get tired and then press the X button. I figured out the knack to it, guys. I figured it out. Proud of myself now. <laughs> So here we go. How are we gonna fight all them? Oh, right, I see. Right, if we kite them, so it's one at a time. Oh my god, just one at a time, please! Oh! Oh my god! Holy hell! I think I lost some dishes there. <laughs> right, let's go over. We we've actually lured him to a more open area, so. There we go, we got the meat, guys! Awesome! Right, return to the cafe, which is the perfect time because it's lunchtime and we can help out at the same time. Clear that off, I pen. Awesome. And that's it. Right, let's let's feed Chris. Oh, 
I think that's the second green dish that I've given him, or maybe the third. Tiny Trash says, this is the most relaxing stream I've ever had a chance to watch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, it's a super fun, chill game. It really is. Okay, so... There we go, guys. We can finally make the powerful Zuchi meats. Sorty? Sorte? Sate? Sorty? I have no idea. Right, here we go. Right, that's my best onion. <laughs> so Poncho better appreciate this, just saying. Did I get that? Did I get that all right? Oh, I've still not managed to get full chef's hats yet. Damn it. Here we go, Poncho. Look how happy he is. Look at this meat dish, it's all mine. <laughs> this, this is the powerful Zuchi meat saute. If I eat this, then I'll... I'll become a true warrior. Yeah, I feel the ball! <laughs> I can finally j be just like Taisho. Look, Poncho, the recipe for this dish was used after Taisho first defeated the powerful Zuchi. Really? Billy, I knew it. You really do know about him. It was back when I was a kid. After that, my old man never beat a powerful Zuchidon again. My old man? <laughs> and the penny drops. <laughs> yeah, my dad's been protecting the village with all he's got. He knew he was weak, and he didn't hide that from anyone. And you know what? Nobody cared. How do you feel about Taisho now? Not cool at all, right? But at least he never lied. Taisho... Right, so let's have a look at the storage a second. Right, how are we doing? We need more lemon schlemmen. <laughs> Got quite a lot of fish, a uh, decent amount of meats. It's mainly fruit that we need. And actually, let's go here a second. So, celery. Oh! Oh, I can make this now! When did I get celery? Oh my god. I didn't even see when I got celery. Okay, here we go. Nice. I got quite a lot of excellence there, I feel. Okay. What should I remove for the uh, ratatouille? Everything's on four chef's hats. Except those two are on five, so... What's low on star rating? There's one that's three stars here. Bacon and egg. Thing is though, that's a breakfast dish and if I remove that, I don't really have... I have porridge and maybe pancakes. I suppose pancakes as well for breakfast. Maybe a nice salad. That one there. Not the other one. Not that one. Not that one for breakfast, the spicy green salad, but maybe that one, that sweet bagna corda could be like a breakfast, a nice breakfast. The thing is, they come at lunchtime, they come at 12, so, you know. 
Either a lunch meal or a breakfast meal, really. I don't want to remove the sweet jelly. Right, I'm going to remove the bacon and egg. You can all hate me now. <laughs> How dare you remove the bacon and egg? How dare you? Right, that is running out. So I need more celery. We're getting great feedback from the customers. Let's keep up the good work. My service has good reputation. That makes me so happy to hear. Right, did we get manure? No. Yeah, I hate porridge as well, Leon. I think it's disgusting, personally. <laughs> Porridge is so stodgy. So stodgy. Right, so, oh my god, we only got one celery. Jesus. Probably gonna have to remove that dish. I can't remember where the fish preserve is up to at the moment, so I'm just going to go check. Hey, uh, I can't say your name. Dio Dioga Meets. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for tuning in. see now. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to take a drink when walking up the side of a cliff. Right, they can go and uh, serve themselves while I explore. And don't forget guys, every single like really supports my streams, so if you do like what you see, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, even if you're watching this as a video as well, it really really supports guys, so thank you so much to everybody slapping that like button, it's greatly appreciated. Okay, so did we go this way much? No, that was a dead end actually. The staff is slacking. I don't care! I want to explore! It might have been inside the caves here, actually, that we got the celery. Because, you know, we didn't get the celery till we got to this new area. No, rare pear. Rare pear. Sounds lewd. <laughs> That's a rare pear you've got there. Right, so basically Chris does one attempt and if it fails then he doesn't try again. There we go. Second time is the charm. And don't forget he still can't destroy that at the moment. So we're getting some more fruit, which is nice. 
we did need some more celery. Okay, so the celery seems to be from the bushes in this area. Soy sauce? Why was there soy sauce just randomly in there? Okay, so we got some radish. Right, um... Okay, so... Let's go over here. I feel like you get stuck on the scenery sometimes in this game. It's not that bad, but it does happen. Can I jump down here? Okay, feedback. Can't make it anymore. No! I have to remove it and add something else back. It was the eggs and bacon. I'll put that back then. I want to jump down there, but it won't let me. Okay, so I'm gonna head back over here and see if there's any bushes. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that's where, here we go. This might be where I got the celery, actually. From this area. Lemon. Fresh lemon. And more lemon. A secret lemon area. Hmm. Uh, pretty much wiped this area clean now. There's a boulder that we can interact with there. But we can't get to it. It seems. Yeah, getting stuck on the scenery again a little bit. We didn't go this way. This is a new area. Right, Chris. She's so should I save some manure to use at many places as possible or should I use it immediately? Personally, I use the manure at, um, because in this game, anything you gather from the field, you can grow, then grow in your kind of like little growing area next to your cafe. And it's the same with fish. When you, when you catch, catch anything from the sea or pond or lake, whatever it is, um, you can then get it at the fish preserve. So I actually use my manure for the fish preserve and also the uh, the growing area because that gets that to grow more quickly and be ready to harvest more quickly and it means that you can get a load of stuff in one go rather than focusing on just one area. So that's personally what I do. My god, that almost fell off. But, you know, it's up to you. You can try different things. So I, I literally just spam my manure 
in the growing area and also the fish preserve whenever possible. So we're exploring pretty far now, guys. We've got new music here, which means a new area. Wood ear mushroom. Ew. That sounds gross. Absolutely vile. Okay. Oh my god, there's different ones. Different colour. Okay, so we've created a shortcut there. But let's continue going across here. Once again, I kind of just want to stay out and explore since we're in this new area rather than going back to the cafe. I don't even care about the cafe at the moment. <laughs> it's like, nope, I just want to explore. Beskonoichi, you mean the little area by the cafe, right? Yes. I suppose I should just call it our farm because it's a little it's a little farm area, isn't it, where you grow crops? I just call it growing area though. Okay, so that just looped back round to the same part, so let's continue guys. I kind of want to kill some of these green Zuchudon to see if they give me different meats. Here we go. So... Oh my god, they can run into the wall and kill themselves. That's actually what just happened. Dishes though. I didn't even notice that second one. Where's Chris gone? Oh. Chris, why did you go round and do that? piece to a recipe. Awesome. I'm pretty sure we already did that. I don't know why that moved. serving time back in the cafe but I don't get it. I want to explore I want to get as many of these fragments as I can mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to feed him I know it's got the red pigment but it's fine I've, I've fed him more green than I have anything else recently so it's not going to affect much I don't think. Right, I think that's it. I don't think we can get over there. Well maybe we can actually. I can't 
I'll get over that way. Actually, no, no, I might be able to drop down if I go across the bridge, but I can't get to the bridge. Okay. I don't know. I can get to the bridge. It's just back round. Fresh lychee, whatever that is. That sounds vile. Okay, so it was over here. And then round here. Making sure I'm not falling off or anything. So, drop down here? No. I can't drop down, guys. So how do I get there? Can I drop down here? No. I'm guessing I've got to fly there, maybe? won't let me drop down, sadly. Which is annoying. Well, we've got a lot of ingredients there, guys. but he never lied but I I think he'll find his own courage eventually hey welcome to the stream sidemen Sean, rude! You just totally pushed me out of the way. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh my god, Billy, stop slacking! Okay, right. What I do need to do is cook some new dishes for Chris. Some green dishes!
welcome to the stream. Okay, so let's do this one as well. No, since I'm feeding it to Chris, I don't even know if the ingredients matter, you know? So maybe just use my worst ingredients for the dragon? She makes me sound like a horrible parent. <laughs> Here you go, Chris. You can have all the food that's almost out of date. Maybe a little bit of mould on it. Not that fresh. Smelling a bit funky. vegetables okay so I'm gonna put some carrots in there as well all right let's see this is my first time cooking this dish I don't know how it's gonna go change this colour it's going to be in the morning like when we wake up So I'm going to nip outside and use some of this manure again. Um, I think... Focus on the vegetables. Like, it always seems to be the vegetable growing area, the farm. Is the best one to use it on. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you definitely seem to get some ingredients more than others, like... It almost seems like it does force you to gather, still. Which is annoying, because those ingredients are further afield. So it takes up a portion of your... a significant portion of your day, doing that. game let's have a little casual chat at the end of this stream so who's actually buying this who's still on the fence do you want to want to ask me any questions about this game ask away um i will happily answer them and we'll just have a little chill moment at the end here and just chat about the game hey karama sorry you've come right at the end of the stream my friends we're just winding down uh but i will be doing a second stream today which will be monster hunter generations ultimate later on <clears throat> if my throat is okay, Jesus. <laughs> so this is out now. It's out now on the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 in America only. It's coming out in the UK late September. So if you do want to get it, don't forget your Switch and your PlayStation 4 can play American games. Um, they can play any region games. You just on the Switch need to make the correct region accounts. And then you can buy and play the game on any of your accounts on your Nintendo Switch. And the PS4 is a little bit more tricky. Uh, you need to make the right region account, buy and download the game. Then if you want to play it on your main account that isn't American, you will need to set that as primary so that you can... Sorry, you'd need to set the American account as primary 
user on the PlayStation 4 so that you can go ahead and still play the game on your other account that isn't American. So that's how it works. But if you're unsure on any of that, you can check it out on YouTube. There's plenty of tutorial videos available. Wild Cappuccino, this game looks amazing, but I can't get it because I don't have the consoles. Aww. And, uh, oh, Mikian says, I might buy it, but Dragon Quest Eleven is out in two weeks. And then I've got Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, I feel like this game has maybe come out at, maybe, like, a bit of a bad time, I guess. Um, it's a shame because I had the game early. I had the game two days before I started my break, but obviously I only had two days to record it. And I knew that I wasn't going to be home for release day. So that's why I didn't stream it. I just did pre-record and I did five episodes of pre-record. Um, but sadly, like, it's only episode one that's got over a thousand views, which is really bad. So I feel like a lot of people either just don't know about this game or they're not interested in it, which is a shame. Um, I mean, I'm really enjoying it and stuff, but I don't know, like, whether I'm going to finish it until completion on the channel. I'll just have to see whether I can squeeze it in, in between everything else. But I've had a great time streaming it today. I'm so glad I decided that this was the first stream back because it's just a super fun, chill game to play on the channel. And, uh, yeah, it was just really nice, just relaxing, gathering. I'm so happy that we saw uh, Chris get bigger as well. That was awesome. And yeah, I, I just hope more people realise that this is a good game. I do think, I do genuinely think it's overpriced, but hopefully it drops a little bit after a couple of weeks. Maybe they'll realise that the price point is a bit too high, I don't know. Um, I don't know what Axie are like in terms of price dropping games quickly or not. So fingers crossed they decide to drop the price, because I do think it's a little bit steep for what it is. But it's a nice chill game, it's a fun experience. If you like... Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley, um, anything in that vein, you're probably going to like Little Dragon's Cafe. It's just super, super fun and chill. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out this live stream. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to sub and tap that bell to turn on notifications and join Team GGK. I am a regular streamer. I also do pre-record first impression videos, reaction videos, uh, all types of stuff. Primarily, I do Monster Hunter, but I am looking to do some other gameplay of games like Little Dragon's Cafe, and also I want to do some horror games in October, which is going to be super fun because I am really, really scared easily. Um, <laughs> a lot of my existing subscribers know from previous horror streams how easily scared I am, so I'm looking to do some more horror games in October, which I think is going to be really, really fun. And yeah, like a lot of Monster Hunter on the channel and just other games sprinkled in here and there, just genuine uh, gameplay videos so that I can try and help you guys decide if you want to get the games or not. That's the plan anyway. Ethan, what are you drinking? I'm drinking water. I always drink water. Right, Leon says, what advice can you give to a beginner about Monster Hunter World because I'm getting my ass handed to me a lot of occasions. If you're getting your ass handed to you, it's likely because you are underprepared. So my advice would be is to just practice against the monster. Don't rush in blindly. Don't overcommit to moves and combos. Observe your opponent. Learn their patterns. The monsters have tails before they do certain moves. So you want to get used to their body language, how they move through the environment, how they interact with the environment, what they're going to do next. You need to know what their weaknesses are, what their weak spots are. You have your hunter's notes, which you can refer to. The more you gather tracks on a monster, the more information that gets filled up. You've just got to go to the, uh, the guy, I can't remember what he's called, and talk to him and it will fill more information in. And then you can check out their weak spots, their weaknesses, whether they're susceptible to status ailments and stuff like that. So that's what you want to be doing. So just practice patience, perseverance. I always say the three P's, which sounds lewd. Well, <laughs> the three P's, practice patience and perseverance with Monster Hunter. It's just a case of learning 
your environment, your monsters, your weapons, and knowing when to attack, when to draw back and heal and observe and stuff like that. So that's it for this stream, guys. I'm going to go have a rest now. I'm going to get some food and stuff. Um, I might dual stream tonight on two platforms, which is going to be Mixer and also YouTube. So I, if you guys do want to follow me on Mixer, um, hang on a second. I will link my Mixer account just now, if you just bear with me. I'll get the link. Because I'm, I'm trying to diversify the channel, so I am really considering starting to stream on Mixer if I can. Um, so I'll just go to my channel. I still need to customise it and stuff. So this is my Mixer channel. So if any of you do like Mixer and you also watch people on Mixer, um, this is my channel. So I'm considering doing a dual stream tonight of both uh, you know, both platforms, YouTube and also on Mixer of Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, but it depends whether I get everything set up on time. So it might not be on Mixer as well, but I'll just go live if it is. And uh, I'm going to have a merged chat so I can see both chats as well. But anyways, I've waffled on long enough. Thank you so much for being awesome, guys. Thank you to everybody supporting this series. Don't forget to like and comment. It really, really helps, guys. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next stream. Bye-bye.